I'm about to do something. Yeah, it's it's dumb. It's, it's, it's dumb. There's no two ways about it. It's dumb, but uh, you know, it's a great way to spend a Sunday afternoon, even though it's dumb. Uh, better make sure that this is tightly secured, right? For this kind of stupidity. All right, there we go. Hey, hey, hey! What's up, Duff here? I'm the veteran Patton. Uh, yeah, I have on a raincoat. Have you ever seen me ride in a raincoat? I don't think so. Battery covered or that charge port cover does not want to stay in. All right, it's got to stay in for this. For this this act of stupidity, let's close this. Okay, those of you that uh, don't know, I live in Southwest Florida, and we have had um, a tropical system going by us. We started getting uh, warnings, weather warnings, on Friday. Cyclone warnings, tropical storm uh, warnings, or watches, I think. Like a watch means that it could be coming, a warning means it's definitely coming. But it started Friday. And uh, it really has been kind of anticlimactic. There ha hasn't been that much going on. You know, it's a, a little bit of rain now and then. I mean, I even went, went and played I play pickleball Friday, played pickleball yesterday. Um, Today it's been worse. It's been it's been <laughs> it's been rainy. It's been uh, windy. Uh, there's been a number of uh, warnings that have come across my phone. Uh, the latest, which expired recently, was a tornado warning, not a watch, a warning, meaning that either there's one on the ground or already moving, or there's a super high probability of a cell developing into a tornado. Uh, but that did expire. Uh, a little while ago, so I felt safe coming out. My raincoat, I never wear a raincoat, right? This is supposed, supposed to be waterproof. I have my, my elbow protection underneath. I have my DJI mic tucked in there. Uh, I was concerned about the DJI mic that is on the camera. You know, the GoPro itself is supposed to be relatively waterproof, but the, um, the, camera, or the, uh, the wireless tr transmitter for uh, the DJI mic is not. So I currently have it wrapped up in a poop bag, a dog poop bag, yes. Yes, here's a picture of what it looks like. Kind of crazy. But they are waterproof, I do know that. So I have it wrapped around there. I'm hoping that protects everything. Don't know how it'll sound. Of course, I have rain hitting me in the face, but that's fine. I just thought it'd be interesting. Why? I don't, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know why I do and, and think and say things uh, that I that uh, happen all the time, but uh, they still happen. So, all right, it's raining harder, raining harder. Where am I? Oh shit, what was that? No, I know what that was, hold on. I don't really need it, but I'll get it. That was, um, this new selfie stick came with a, like a shutter remote that you can use on a GoPro. I probably won't use it, uh, but it just did drop out. So let me see if I can find it. All right, I did not find it. it hit the ground and then bounce into the grass somewhere. I'm not gonna crawl around in wet grass trying to find it, particularly since it's something that I more than likely will not use, so it's fine. The patent is supposed to be a relatively water-resistant wheel, so this, this will give it a good test. I haven't actually been on my patent in a while. You know, I rode my last ride was the Master V4. I've been riding the V13 uh, quite a bit, trying to work on my seated riding ability. Have not gotten out on the Patton, which is uh, still the favorite wheel that I own. So I thought it'd be nice to get it out here. And I do more or less trust it in wet conditions. So I, I, I will see if that trust is warranted or not because it's gonna get really, really wet. All right, that was kind of potentially dangerous. I was looking at the camera, not paying attention to where I am on the road and I just blew right through a stop sign. Uh, luckily there was no traffic coming, uh, but yeah. Got to be attentive at all times as some bad shit happens. Oh yeah, rain's picking up. Picking up. I didn't bother to put the goggles on because I figured uh, they would just get coated in water. I wouldn't be able to see anyways. I don't have uh, windshield wipers installed in my goggles. So yeah, just gonna, just gonna be a little bit wet. It's evening, I guess. I had an impromptu live stream. If you wanna check it out on my channel, 
It's just a little stupid thing I did on my phone that I thought it was only gonna go for, I don't know, an hour maybe tops. And of course it went for two and a half hours. And then after live streaming for two and a half hours, I, I went over and I tuned into uh, the live stream Dawn was doing, which went for, I don't know, I think hers went for almost two and a half hours too. I didn't see the whole thing, I saw m most of it. Yeah, if you're, if you're looking for, to scratch your live stream bug, uh, check out my channel or Dawn's channel and uh, see what's up. See what's, see what's up. You, you can hear about my struggles with the M10-3. It's been a couple hours just like the M10-3. My original plans for what I was going to do about the, the tire situation uh, did not work out, so I've had to, I've had to uh, reevaluate my plan of action there. Oh my goodness. And um, so yeah, I have some parts coming. I have to wait for those parts to show up, and then I will take another whack at getting my M10-3 back on the road. Let's see, where am I? I'm, I'm, I'm totally lost because I'm talking. As you can see, the flat top of the Patton and other veteran wheels uh, does have the ability to pile some water up on top of it. So hopefully everything is sealed good there. I mean, I've had this thing in the rain before. I've gotten wet on it before, but not, not like this. Not, not uh, when uh, <laughs> tropical waves are, are rolling through here. All right, someone's behind me. I can only imagine what, people, what, what vehicles are thinking right now. They're probably thinking that I'm like the dumbest MF'er uh, in the world, but, and they might be right. But, uh, okay, continuing on. So not only am I obviously getting very wet, well, I mean, my coat's keeping my top half dry, I guess, but I'm also um, getting blown around by the uh, gusty winds. But it's all good. It's all good, right? Oh, Jesus. Part, it's part of the experience. Can't say I've ever ridden in an EUC in, a trop in tropical weather before. Intentionally. Gotten caught in rain before, but not, not intentionally. I was in a perfectly dry house, and uh, here I am. There's a couple cars behind me, kind of looky-looing looky me, so I let them pass. And I don't know. I'll go back this way and go into the shopping center. Why not? It's weird. This... I don't know. I'm, I'm questioning how waterproof this coat is because my my chest and stomach feels wet. I definitely feel wet. Um, why? This is supposed to be waterproof. A am I wrong? Maybe it's not. I, I don't know. Um, you may notice I'm also I'm wearing my my Solite gear. I figured I would I would give my Solite gear a uh, a water test <laughs> uh, for no good reason. See how that holds up. See how it dries out. And yeah, why am I, huh? Yeah, my shirt is definitely wet. What the hell? I don't know, is it running down my neck? I don't think so. Huh. All right, well, this, this rain gear might suck, evidently. News, I've, uh, I've put uh, the veteran Patton's older brother or sister, my Sherman S, up for sale officially. I've listed on the Facebook Electric Unicycle Marketplace. Got lots of people making commentary on the wheel, and but I haven't really had any any solid offers whatsoever. So if you're looking for a Sherman S, I have it listed up there for $2,900. That includes all the pads, you know, the kinetic pads. That includes the uh, it has the seat on it, it has the uh, the uh, top covers on it. Uh, what else does it include? It includes the EUC Army sticker if you want it. Um, but yeah, I had it listed on there for $2,900 OBO. So it's a great wheel has, and it has less than 600 miles on it. So it has very low mileage. So if you're looking for a good Sherman S for a good price, look me up. I just had a, um, I just had, oh, here comes more rain. Good. I just had a Haitian woman walking into Publix, <laughs> looking at me as I'm approaching her. She looked at me like I was like uh, doing voodoo. Like, like I was, I don't know, like I had uh, bad intentions. It was, it was not a look of trust. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who would trust someone doing stupid stuff like this? Riding in a, a one-wheeled electric balancing device uh, in rain and wind. Yeah, it's a good question. Who would do that? Who would do that? Getting good workout. I mean, it's probably not for shows, but it doesn't feel like I'm getting wet in my ass. I don't, yeah, it feels all right. So, I mean, it's doing its job. Uh, I don't know what else to say, guys, except this is a dumb idea. You don't 
Yeah, a whole lot of people talking about the patent lately, you know, because first the Lynx came out, and so everyone was talking about the Lynx, and now the Sherman L. But, I mean, the patent is really, it's, I really enjoy it. Like I said, it's out of the wheels I currently own. It's probably my favorite. You know, I can get 50 miles of range. It can comfortably cruise in the 30s. It's nimble as hell because it's a 16-inch wheel. And the 58-pound uh, fast day suspension is very, very uh, plush for me, even at my weight. You know, I weigh 185 pounds, and, and, the, um, and the, what the hell am I saying, man? I can hardly see. It's getting very difficult to see. <laughs> I'm going, I, I, think, I think I have, I have experienced enough to, to know what it's like to ride in a tropical storm. So I, oh my God, man, now it's just wind whipped, wind whipped. So now I will be returning in my, uh, with my waterproof coat that's not waterproof, evidently. I can't wait to see what it looks like when I take it off. Maybe the wettest that I've ever gotten a wheel. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking it is. Yeah. Oh, ow. This shit's actually hurting now. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Okay, gotta be able to read street signs. All right, here we go. All right. Rolling on. I'm probably about uh, five minutes from the house. Can't come too soon. Yeah, this is legit getting treacherous. I'm having a hard time just seeing. Uh, yeah. Whose idea was this, anyways? Feet are soaked. Thoroughly soaked. Oh my God. I don't know. Do I need to say anything? Ow! Note to self, next time you're gonna rain, do a rain test, uh, get rain gear. It actually is waterproof. That's, that's an important detail. Well, this is an experience, and I would not say it's a good one, for sure. It's a very, oh my God, my feet. see oh, my wind socks all wet too let's see if this uh, jacket did as terrible of a job as it feels and the clone's inside of a zippered pocket hopefully and the clone's pretty much waterproof on its own right so that's our right. so coming out coming still works yeah look at my shirt look at my shirt So, totally so this coat sucks. Anyone has uh, recommendations for rain gear that works? That does not work. Uh, see, gear is wet. Legs are really wet. Feet are soaked. All right. So now, when I ride a wheel in this kind of conditions, I do a couple things. You know, because everyone knows that you can have oh, water all over the lens. You can have issues with, you know, bearings and stuff if they get wet, that kind of shit. First, I'm going to let it spin out and throw as much water out as it can. I'm going to cycle power and do it again. No less spin test this far away. Got up to about 64 miles an hour. And then I get my handy dandy DeWalt brushless blower. Just blow out the inside here. Alright. You see this outside? I can't believe I rode in that. It's so stupid, isn't it? 
Peter Soak. So anyways, yeah, there, there you go. And the veteran patent, at least initially, has survived uh, the water test. Driving a, or riding in a uh, tropical storm. I do this so you don't have to do it. If you ever get the urge to uh, ride your patent in a tropical storm, you don't need to, because you know it's going to work, right? At least so far. So. All right. So if you found this video interesting or idiotic or whatever, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. I'm going to step dry out. Please consider subscribing. And if you do, you hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Huge thanks to my channel members. I've got to do a fresh inventory the last time I check out 23 or 24 of them. Uh, thank you to my channel members if there's a list of them. And I think that's, uh, that's all I have for now. The water's like running out of my sneakers. Look at this. Oh my god, look at that pot. Yeah, they're wet. Stuff sit there for a while. So yeah, I think that's it. That's all I have for now. Hope you have a great upcoming week and uh, stay dry. Until next time, stuff me now. Stay there. Dry out.